My name is Christoph Katzler. And mine is Nikola Radeljkovic. And we are from Newman for Use. And you're looking at tape installation Des Moines. From the very beginning of this project, uh, it was really somehow important to try to find a, a real way to approach this wonderful building. On one side, there's a technical issue of how to attach such a large structure which carries uh, several human beings inside. And the other question is how to tackle this, this thing of inside the space. The architecture, it's, it's actually very dynamic. And especially the, the light which enters in this space from, from all, all sides. And this, this is really amazing. Uh, this, after a while working on these installations, we found out that all, most or all of our projects are, are, look like computer generated, but they are handmade and developed on models and, and large scale tests. This is normal, normal sticky tape, like uh, what we use every day. This is important for us and it was, was also a thrilling thing about it that we use uh, everyday uh, material and give it a totally new context. But it's still amazing that, that it, all this structure weighs 300 or 400 pounds. When you, when you think of the uh, production process or how this is made, we start with straight lines, wrap around radial, and then slowly these this forms emerge. This is like a, 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 um, a tool of a, of a software, 3D software. 3D software I have, I can, draw squares, I can, uh, 3D uh, forms I can uh, design, each with a different tool, right? But I think it's, it's really important to not to forget that we are still, you know, flesh and blood and, and, and that we still have these gut feelings and we have this, this direct contact with, with things and with people also. Our wish would be that they uh, experience the the freedom of movement and to experience an, an somehow moved space and moved, moved perception of themselves and also of other people. Art and design are not something which is reserved just for the rich. One of the best experiences we have is with, with people for different generations and for people with different social uh, backgrounds, you know, and then when they enter in, somehow they recognize themselves and, and the others in, in a different way and they all become somehow connected. It's interesting how, how somehow perception changes through your bodily uh, experience. This playing with and in the space is also for sure very important. The driving moment is when you see people coming out with, with, you know, with joy, with joy and glowing eyes. This transition of, of, of your um, emotional state is actually what, what we are searching for. It is drawing in space and uh, I'm really honored and, and, and I'm proud to, to have been able to do things here. We spent a year working on this. My team was fantastic. We had 11 uh, art center staff, plus the Newman for Use guys, which were four. So we had 15 total. Working with packing tape right off the bat was something new and different. With each project, we worked closely with the artists and the curator. So we're relying on uh, the Newman for Use guys to really guide us through this. We did extensive load-bearing tests. This pushed the envelope uh, in all of that engineering. Working in this building is a challenge uh, in terms of the brutalist architecture, the concrete, uh, tape, and seeing how this soft material could interact with this hard concrete building. The challenges are the maintenance of it. It's alive in the sense that it's interactive and so it's not static, um, but it's also incredibly exciting to see the public's response to it. Um, that they walk in and their first response, their initial reaction is, is their eyes pop out of their head and they look at it and they go, what is this? And then they see people in it and they go, there's people in there. And we go, yeah, 
yeah, you're going to be able to climb in it. And so then they do, and they're incredibly excited.